Check the swings, okay? okay? Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. I, uh, he likes to skate, so I'll okay. go check the pond. Good, should, good. Should I go? Stay right here in case he comes back. He needs you here, okay? Yo, Max! Oh, Haley, I'm really sorry. Um, uh, should I call the police? Uh, I don't know. Yes, yeah, that's a good idea. I, I saw a police car when I came. I'll go. Okay. Max! Max! Come on, I'm really scared now. Come out now, okay? No, uh, Jillian went to get the police. She called the police? Yeah. Okay, good, good. All right, so, uh, I'll, I'll keep looking. Okay, what, what should stay I Stay here, just stay here in case he comes back. Oh, how could I have been so stupid? I should have been keeping my eyes on him. Please, God, please let him be okay. Please let him be okay. Oh, God. Oh. Haley? Oh, where have you come from? Where were you? I just dropped Amanda off for some of her friends at the ice skating Did, did pond. you see Raquel there or, or Mateo anywhere? No, were they at the pond? I'm looking for Max. Have you seen him? He, he's wearing his little coat that he had on Thanksgiving and, and, and a scarf and uh, a winter hat. Max is missing? I turned my back on him for a second, one second. He was over here and he was playing with his truck and then I turned my back and he was gone. Haley, Where did he Haley, disappear to? Calm him down. How long has he been missing? Oh. I don't know, like three minutes. It seems like three hours. Is Mateo looking for him? Yeah, I'm Raquel and uh, Julian went to get the police and I'm supposed to stay here just in case. Good, good. Everybody's doing what they should. Who are you calling? I'm calling Trevor. It's turned off. I'll try him at the office. Don't worry, we're gonna find Max. He had you in jail on this bogus assault charge. There's nothing bogus about that assault charge. He took a swing at Emma Grant in the middle of a crowded restaurant, and I've got witnesses who will attest to that. And Trevor. I got witnesses that will attest to the fact that he was defending his wife against Edmund Gray, who was manhandling her. When he had you incarcerated on this trumped up charge, he then offered to drop that charge if you would take this DNA test against the advice of counsel. Am I correct? That's right. Did you get a chance to talk to your lawyer about this? No. No, I did not. Sounds like he was denied legal counsel to me, Jack. He had every opportunity to talk to his legal counsel. He just never asked. He was in jail. He didn't know he had the right to do that. Sounds like coercion. That's a nice try, Trevor, but you're not going to win. Hey, if I was a betting man, I'd bet on this one. Look, even if you do somehow manage to get this DNA evidence suppressed, I'll just get a court order. And then I'll make sure that any test that Ryan Levy takes from that point on is irrefutable. Start typing. Don't let him kid you, champ. You're not off the hook. Not by a long shot. Very impressive. Now, do you have a snowball's chance in hell of actually pulling it off? I'm offering serenity. I have all the candles and crystals I need, thank you. Well, it's hard to find peace with a troubled conscience. Mine is free and clear. Yeah? After putting an innocent man behind bars? Look, yeah. what are you doing in here, coming in here like Look, this? Look, your brother may be a powerful man, but he can't cover all the bases. This case hasn't gone to trial yet, you know. A lot of things can happen. Like bribing me to back off? Well, anything's possible. No deal. Well, that's just too bad. Save everybody a lot of unnecessary expense and heartache. <sighs> rape trials. Jeez, rape trials, they can get so ugly. Mm. Even Polly Purebred might find it difficult to stand up to all the scrutiny. Looking on calmly while her past gets dredged up. Everybody peeks at her dirty little secrets. 
You may be a Montgomery, but you're no poly purebred, Miss Fisher. What do you want? Justice. And to ensure that when Ryan Lavery goes on trial, your reputation goes on trial with him. Oh, yeah. You can picture the headlines. The con woman cries rape. Again. Now, <laughs> you think you can escape the sins of your past. Well, I'm here to tell you that they're nipping at your heels. Now, you better reconsider my offer, Miss Fisher, before they grab you by your throat. Who are you? What are you? It was a lovely party, oh, darling. Oh, thank you so much for coming. Are you, are you sure you're going to get home all okie dokie? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I didn't, have that, I didn't have that many mimosas. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> Bye, Marion. Get a good night's sleep, honey. Bye, Myrtle. Thank you. Okay. See you at the wedding. Listen, um, I was just thinking, if you don't have enough room in your car for all of these wonderful gifts, I could probably put some of them in mine. And you know what? You should take some of that fabulous carrot cake of Myrtle's home to Stuart. I think he would love it. <laughs> I think Opal really pulled one over on you by having the shower at my house, didn't she? You should have seen your face. It was so... Marion. <laughs> Marion, did I did I say something? I... What is it? I... I don't know what to do. Oh, you know what? You're just having... You're just having wedding jitters, that's all. No, no, no. Marrying Stuart is what I, I want to do more than anything in the world. So what's the problem? <sighs> this. I mean, all of this, all these... These wonderful presents and... And the food and all the preparation you and Opal did, it was so, uh, so thoughtful and well-meaning. But when Liza was running around snapping pictures, I realized that the one thing I needed the most, I don't have. <laughs> well, maybe you'll get it as a wedding gift. No. Oh, Bro Brooke, I need advice in the worst possible way. Can you please help me, please? <sighs> Marion, I am well, certainly not an expert on marriages, believe me, and not even good relationships these days. No, look, you are such a respected woman in this community. You are a, a, a genuinely good person. And that's what I want to be. I want to be the best for Stuart. I want to be the best woman and the best wife and the best person. But you see, I... I know where I've been, and I know what I've been, and I know that I'm a joke in, in many circles in this town. And I just, I don't want to tarnish Stuart with my past. I just want to honor him. Oh, Marion, you will do that. Come on. Thank you. Oh, oh. oh. um. Oh, dear. Listen, I, I don't want anyone to see me like this. No, I, I use no. your bathroom. Listen, yes, right upstairs, okay? Thank you. Here, take some more. Thank you. Oh. Okie doke. Okay. Oh, Brooke, thank goodness you're home. Oh, Stuart. I, uh, I need to talk to you right away, okay? Well, um, I don't think it, now is exactly the best time. Oh, Brooke, please, 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 i got to do it now. Tomorrow, I'm going to be Marion's husband. And I don't think I can do it. I just called Trevor's office. He's at the hospital. That's why his cell phone's turned off. How could I have let this happen? He was just a little boy. I should have watched him better. It's that age. You're everywhere at once. You got to keep your eyes glued to them. But you couldn't know that. Oh, God, if anything happens to him. Haley, don't go there. Max has got to be right under our noses. He's probably... Poking at a rock with a stick or chasing a bird or something. 
I was at the mall with Amanda the other day, and I turned my back for one second. She was gone. I found her at a record store, looking in the window at a hologram. You said to yourself I should have kept my eyes glued to him. No, I should have. You had no business watching him in the first place. What's the word, Raquel? What's going on? My son is missing. Nobody has seen him. I mean, what happened? Did, 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 he knows better than to run off. Did you say something to upset him? Did, did he make you mad? No, we were having fun. Fun? Are you having fun now? It's all I got, kid, but it might get you off. But if Jackson rigged those test results once, what makes you think he would I'm do it again? I'm not sure he rigged those tests. But we can always insist on another lab if there is a second test. Okay, okay, I, I don't think I get you. According to my sources, there was not exactly a lot of evidence on Kid Montgomery's dress. They had used most of it in the first set of tests. So if I get those test results thrown out, there might not be enough evidence to run a second battery of tests. You got me? I got you, Trevor. That would be great. Yeah, well, just keep your fingers crossed. I will. Thank you. <laughs> Wait till you get my bill. <laughs> Yeah. Look, is there anything I can uh, bring you from the outside? No, no, I can't really think of anything. All I do is sleep anyway. Yeah, we'll get some sleep for both of us, all right? All right, thanks. I'll be by later. Okay. Hey, Trevor. Word to the wise. You don't want to file that motion. Why are you doing this to me? Why are you doing this to Ryan? Why do you care? Did he hire you or are you Tad Martin's errand boy? You really don't have a clue, do you? I saw you at the crystal ball with Dixie Cooney. So you must know Tad. Oh, I know Ryan. We go way back. People change. Yeah. Well, they lie too. You know, he didn't rape you. In fact, I don't believe you were raped at all. Get out. How's Get it out. gonna look when word leaks out about that little stunt you pulled with Tad Martin? Yeah. Yeah, Tad Martin. Pine Valley's favorite son. And here you are, pulling the same routine on another guy. You know, I wouldn't expect any points for originality or sympathy. Be smart. Take the money. You hear me. I am not lying. You may think you know my past, but it doesn't change what happened to me on Halloween night. So you can go back to whoever you're working for and you can tell them to go to hell. You get out or I'm gonna call the police. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Cry rape? I trusted you. I left my child with you and, and now he's missing. My God, were you drinking? No. Raquel, that's enough. That's not helping matters. Nothing is helping matters because my son is missing and it's all her fault. I'm sorry. Everybody just calm down. Look, yeah, you hey. said you'd watch him. Raquel, please, I'm sorry. I, I just turned my back for a second. Okay. One second, that's all I said. Look, a, a second is all it takes. You were supposed to we watch him. We don't have him. time to point fingers now. Finding Max is the only thing that matters. Okay, look, I'll go try the parking lot. It's, it's okay, it's okay. Listen, listen, I'm just gonna check the bicycle path, okay? Stay here. I know I, I should have called first, but I didn't even think of it. I, I just shot out of there the, the minute Adam broke out the cigars. Cigars? Yeah, it's, it's my bachelor party. I, I know it's, it's customary after all that other stuff. But uh, I, 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 don't, I don't smoke, and I, I, don't, I hate that. I can't stand the smell of those things. I just, so uh, I, I, just, I just ducked right out. I ducked out early. You ducked out of your own bachelor party? Yeah, well, yeah, I, I really wasn't into it. All I can keep thinking is, is how I can be a good husband for Mary. And, and that's, that's why I need your help or, or advice. I couldn't ask Adam. Hmm. For reasons too obvious to mention. Well, 
I, I really would rather have a woman's point of view. I think my Aunt Phoebe better watch out. Dear Aggie has competition. Step into my parlor. <laughs> I, really, I really appreciate you being willing to, to talk to me like this. Yeah. I just, I just keep thinking about the wedding and, and, and well, I'm afraid I'm going to mess up. You mean the vows? No, I mean the, the marriage. Stuart, I don't know how you can say that. Really, you were such a wonderful husband to Cindy. Oh, well, I don't know, but, but, but Cindy needed me. Marion is, is perfect. And I, I, I make mistakes all the time. You know, I once accidentally sold a television station. I mean, that could have been really bad. It, Liza ended up with it, so it wasn't so bad, but it could have been bad. I mean, I mean, I, I just get confused sometimes, and I, and I do wacky stuff. I, I... Marion deserves somebody, a man that she can really depend on. Somebody who will always be there for her. Stuart, I doubt that you will ever let Marion down. Stuart, listen. Tell me what being a good husband means to you. Well, I... I looked it up in the dictionary. He said it said he was a, a married man and and, and uh, a, a, the household manager. But I like the next word. The next definition was for husbandry, and that's the cultivation of plants and animals. And I, that, that's closer to Marion because I, I see Marion as a like a beautiful, fragile flower. Well, that has to be cultivated and nurtured and cared for and protected. And I wanted to keep her blossoming forever so everybody can enjoy her beauty, especially me. <laughs> oh, Stuart, that's the sweetest thing I ever heard. You are the dearest man. Marion. Not so fast. Now it's your turn. Why don't you say what being a good wife means to you? Trevor, you're never going to get those DNA test results thrown out. Watch me. OK. You want to play it that way? Let me put it to you another way. You're the one that needs to back off, Jack. Look, we're friends, right, Trevor? Maybe we've come to that time in the program where we need to talk a deal for your boy. Why would I want to deal without that DNA? You don't got a case. I'm not going to lose that DNA any more than I'm going to lose this case, Trevor. Your boy is going down. I'll see you in court. What's with you? Huh? You came to me, a burned-out cop wanting to learn the law. All right, I taught you the law. I made you a lawyer. I made you part of Montgomery and Associates. And this is the thanks I get? All the lawyers in the world, you got to be the one to defend my sister's rapist. Alleged rapist, Jack. You taught me that. I taught you everything you know, son, but not everything I know. So let me give you another tip. You don't want to go to the mat with me on this one. Like a friend, I'm telling you. Back off. That's the second time around. You know, Jack, you're right about one thing. You did teach me the law. But you did not make me a lawyer. I made me a lawyer. And when I worked for you in your company, I made you a lot of money. So I don't owe you anything right now. You keep coming at me with these friendly warnings. I will go to the ethics board and put a friendly bug in their ear. <gasps> Two year, I thought we were just having a friendly chat. That's all. You know, Jack, I didn't believe Ryan's claim that you rigged those tests. You're out of control in this case. Well, you put me in front of a judge and jury sport. And I'll show you just how in control I am. Well, let's start with this. Motion to suppress. I filed it this morning. Whoa, whoa. Mr. Dillon, Mr. Dillon, uh, I just came from the police station, but they won't send their men out without the parents' request. But Haley, Mateo, and Raquel are all looking for him in the park. Him who? <sighs> Little Max, he's missing. Oh, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. What kind of a stunt is this? Max Santos is missing in the park. Haley is frantic. Where in the park? Um, by the swings. All right, I'm there. Let her in to see her husband. You get an order on that, too. 
You're serious about this kid? I'll do what I can. In the meantime, not one false move out of you. You have exactly two seconds to get out of here and off this estate. Now! I'm leaving. But you'd be wise to reconsider my offer. Oh, you know, you can take your offers and your threats and you can shove them, honey. No. Oh, the true colors emerge at last. If you ever come near me again, I'm gonna get a restraining order on you. You like playing the victim, don't you? Let me tell you something. Once the media gets through playing with you, your life is gonna be hell on earth. No. All you ever really cared about was money. Your husband's money, which makes us even. You're not going to get another dime from me, Ted. Oh, we're not talking dimes, Marion. Oh, of course we're not. You don't sell yourself that cheap, do you, Tad? Of course not. I really cared about you. In your dreams, Tad. Ever since I met you, you've had your arm hand out for money, for shopping sprees, for uh, luggage, for jewelry, for trips to the Caribbean, even for the gas you used in your car, driving to our rendezvous. You were very grateful. And you were overpaid. Nice shot. Look, the wells run dry, Ted. Just get out, okay? You can pay me in cash. No one need know. You silly little boy. Do you think you're dealing with an amateur? You said it. I didn't. It's my word against yours, and who'd believe you with your reputation? Oh, I think your husband would believe me. Especially after I describe your Caribbean hotel room in perfect detail. And the cologne you bought me. Well, the cologne I, I bought for my husband. Mm-hmm. Whatever. And, uh... What about the lady you supposedly went down there with? Now, could you produce her in the flesh? Yes, uh, I, I, I could if I wanted to. I'll bet. Mrs. Colby, you're bluffing. Just try me. You pull any funny business with me and I will press charges against you, you won't have a prayer of beating, Ted. By telling the truth? I'd take that chance. Do. But uh, don't forget, uh, you're still on probation. The charge of extortion will put you behind bars faster than a blinking of the eye. Might be worth it to see you out walking the streets where you belong. That's something you're never going to see. <laughs> is revenge really so, so sweet, Tad? Your father was a convict, and uh, is that your goal in life, to follow him? Oh, that's all right, Tad. Go ahead, hit me. Assault and battery will only lengthen your stay behind bars. I'm going to get even with you. If it's the last damn thing I do. You do that, but in the meantime, could I have my gold chain back, please? Now get out, and stay out. Slut. Bye, thank you. You know, I hope when Opal gets married, she has a dress like that. Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah. Oh. oh, hi, Mrs. Colby. You got an appointment? Oh, uh, no, actually, I'm looking for Tad. He ain't here. 
Do you know where he is? No, I don't know where he is. Is he at school or is he... Finish up with my lady, would you please? Yes, ma'am. What are you doing here, Liza? I thought you and Tad had broken up. Who said? Your mother said when she was in here this morning. Well, Mrs. Gardner, my mother has opinions I don't necessarily believe in. Oh, really? Well, that's a switch. Look, I am very much in love with Tad. He's very much in love with me, and no one, including my mother, is going to keep us apart. Honey, you're fooling yourself if you think Tad loves you. He don't love nobody but himself, okay? But if you want to live in this dream world, go right ahead. It's not my lookout. Look, for your information, Tad told me he's never loved anyone the way he loves me. <laughs> wow, Opal, what's with her? I think that girl's going to finally get what she deserves, Ethel. And I think it's going to be my son who gives it to her. <laughs> you think you know me so well. There are uncharted oceans in here that you've never even stuck a toe in. Oh, what a crock. Okay, just like this uh, approval of the upcoming wedding. What are you going to do at the wedding reception? Uh, uh, oh, I got it. A nuclear strike? You sure it's time? Absolutely. Did a little kit that they gave me and voila. Well, then by all means, my fertile little Liebchen, let's get you to the clinic. That was my destination, Sig. Good luck with your auditions. Uh-uh, they're canceled. Oh, no. Oh, yes, I meant what I said. I am going with you. You need somebody there. You, you need a weather girl. No, I don't. I'll, I'll, I'll do the weather myself. What, a mascara, a little dress? It wouldn't be the first time. You're scaring look. me. You need to relax. I'm relaxed. I don't look relaxed. <sighs> uh -huh. Could you please give the guy, give him a girly magazine or something? I would love to know who keeps stealing my pencils. You're wrong. No, I'm not. I couldn't be happier for Stuart. <laughs> Please, you hate my mother. You think I lied to my brother? You'd lie to the devil if it got you what you wanted. Bye-bye. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm actually beginning to enjoy this. It's been nice getting to know you.